now we'll be talking on a change in demand and a change in quantity money. A change in demand. First, we need to know that there are two types of change in demand. That is an increase or a decrease in demand. Now, what is a change in demand? A change in demand is a complete shift of the demand curve, either to the left or to the right, caused by factors which influence demand, why price is held constant. Such factors include the population, consumers' income, or advertising campaign. Now, we'll be taking on to our diagram. We have two separate diagrams here. One indicating an increase in demand, while the other indicates a decrease in demand. With the increase in demand, we see that price is held constant. Now, let's take for example, if a company carries out uh, an advertising campaign and the effect of it is successful, it will cause demand to increase. That is moving from point Q0 to point Q1, and this will cause the demand curve to shift to the right, which is in effect is an increase in demand. And in our other diagram, if the of the campaign it turns out not being successful, demand is going to fall. That is indicated from point Q0 to point Q1, and this will cause the demand curve to shift to the left, causing the decrease in demand. Now, we'll be taking further to a change in quantity demanded. A change in quantity demanded is a movement along the same demand curve, upward or downward, indicating a contraction or extension in demand caused by price, while the other factors that influence demand are held constant. Now, in our diagram, the initial price and initial quantity is indicated by point PO and point QO. An increase in price from point PO to point, to point P2 will cause demand to fall from point QO to point Q2. And this will be indicated by a contraction in demand curve from point A to point C. Now, considering the fact that price falls from point PO to point P1, it's going to lead to an increase in demand from point O to point, from point Q0 to point Q1. And this will be indicated by an extension in the demand curve from point A to point B. Now, we'll be taking further to the determinants or the factors influencing demand.